in DC Rebirth, Slade Wilson or Deathstroke is portrayed as a complex anti-hero grappling with redemption and his troubled family relationships. The series, written by Christopher Priest, delves into his role as a father to Jericho and Rose, showing his attempts to reconcile with them while remaining bound by his violent fast and morally ambiguous code of honor. Central to the story is his struggle to balance his ruthless nature with his desire to make amends particularly as he forms a brief superhero team, Defiance, in a bid for redemption. However, his manipulative tendencies and obsession with control open lead him back to conflict and bloodshed. Notable arcs include the Lazarus Contract, where he clashes with the Teen Titans, in a quest to resurrect his son and a confrontation with Batman over Damian Wayne's fraternity. Ultimately, the series portrays Deathstroke as a tragic figure caught between his desire for change and the fool of his deadly profession. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into McFarlane's latest DC Direct Page Puncher release, featuring none other than Deathstroke from the DC Rebirth era. Now, here's the exciting part. My go-to hobby shop always keeps things interesting by randomly sending out Platinum Edition or Chase variants to their customers which is one of the big reasons I stick with them. Unlike other shops that sell this chase variants at a higher markup, these guys include them with regular pre-orders and I luck out with the Platinum Edition this time. I've got to say, I'm definitely more into this version than the standard release. So let's crack this bad boy open and see if it's a hit or a miss. Alright, let's dive into what comes in the box with this Deathstroke figure. It's packed with two swords, a staff, and an alternate mask head, so there's a decent variety for posing options. Sadly, no alternate hands and, as expected, no guns due to DC's current restrictions on firearms with their figures. Since this is part of the DC Direct Page Punchers line, you also get a copy of Deathstroke Rebirth number 1, along with an art card, which is always a nice touch. And of course, it wouldn't be a McFarlane figure without the standard base with the DC logo. Looks like I'll be picking up an accessory pack to give this guy some power power. Let's kick things off with the head sculpt, because McFarlane really nailed it here. It feels like they've been listening to the fans, as the head sculpts in recent releases have seen a serious upgrade, and this death stroke is no exception. The detailing is top notch, and the paintwork is super sharp and clean. One of the reasons I prepared the platinum variant over the regular release is the black eye patch. It just feels more in line with Deathstroke's vibe. The white eye patch on the regular version doesn't quite do it for me. Plus, the gray wash over the white paint on the beard and hair is really well done, adding a nice level of texture and realism. 
Now, let's swap in the alternate mask head and take a closer look at the overall costume design, which I believe is inspired by these comic covers. Another reason I'm really digging this Platinum Edition over the regular release is the unique look it brings to the table. It stands out compared to Deathstroke's other iconic costume throughout the years. The orange detailing on the molded lining really pops and gives this figure a fresh edge. It might not be the best Deathstroke costume ever, but it's definitely a solid variant, especially when you compare it to McFarlane's previous Deathstroke releases. One thing I've got to point out as a negative on this figure is the weapon storage on the back. Yeah, you can clip all three weapons onto it, but it just looks awkward, like they're just hanging or sticking there with no real purpose. It's more of a simple clip rather than a proper sheet or holster, which would have looked way better. Then, there's the knife storage on his left leg. Sounds cool, right? Except, there's no knife included. Big miss opportunity there and honestly, it's a bit of a letdown. It feels like they could be really added to the figure's overall vibe with just that small detail. Okay, now let's jump into articulation. Starting with the head, we get a pretty good range of motion here. You can look up that far, you can look down, side to side rotation, and you can also tilt his head for more expressive poses. Moving on to the arms, you can do a full shoulder rotation, you can do the T-pose, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, double peg wrist, and signature McFarlane butterfly joint which adds a little motion but not really that drastic. Now for the torso, he has a diaphragm joint which can rotate like that. He also has a waist rotation. Combining the two, you can lean back that far. You can lean forward that much, side to side. Moving down to the legs, he has thigh swivel, double jointed knee, then he has rotation here, then you can do that, then ankle swivel. and toe articulation. You can do the bend dam. You can kick forward that far and you can kick back that far. So a little bit of split. For size comparison, 
Curious with the recently released Page Puncher Damian Wayne Robin and the Dick Grayson Batman. So overall, McFarlane's DC Direct Page Puncher's Deathstroke from the Rebirth era is a solid addition to any collector's lineup, especially if you manage to score the Platinum Edition like I did. The head sculpt is fantastic and the unique details like the orange accent on the suit really help this version of Deathstroke stand out. Articulation is good, plenty of range for posing though not groundbreaking. It's not just a standard McFarlane articulation. That said, there are a few downsides. The weapon storage on the back feels a bit off and the missing knife for the Leg holster is a letdown, especially for those of us who love having all the little details nailed down. But despite those issues, I think this figure still shines, especially for fans of the revert look or Deathstroke collectors in general. If you love a good Deathstroke variant, this one's worth picking up, especially if you get lucky with the Platinum Edition. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more reviews like this one. Thank you.